How are you, my friends? This is lecture five of pre-calculus course about properties of logarithms. So these are the objectives here, the properties and the common logarithms and the natural logarithms. So this lecture five is a continuation of lecture four. You can check that, please. At the end of this lecture, you can try all the exams questions for both lectures four and five. So let's see, logarithmic exponential rule, we had mentioned this rule in uh, lecture number four. I will call it LE rule. If we have a logarithm equation here, y equals log base a of x, then we can change it to exponential. So x will be equals a to the power y. If we have a logarithmic equation, we can go to exponential. If we have an exponential equation, we can go to logarithmic equation. Remember the conditions here, x should be positive. That's the argument here. The base a greater than zero and the base a cannot be one. This is one simple example here. <clears throat> Five equals log base two of 32. You can say 32, which is the x here is equal to the base to the power five. So always you can go back and forth. Now, this is a, just a done example. If we have nine to the power M is equal to 28, and suppose we need the value of M, the power on the nine to give 28, that's not an easy number. So we can change it to logarithm by using LE rule. <clears throat> so M becomes, log base nine of 28. So you just go from there, this is X here, and A is the base nine, M is the Y, see? And now you can use calculator here. See, that's what I said here, extra, that means this, you can use a calculator to find the value 1.52. So this is the value of the M, or you can leave it like here. This is enough answer change to exponential equation, k equals log base two of seven. So we can say seven equals two to the power k. Now, if you need k, you can use the calculator here. Log base two of seven, it will be 2.81. There are four general properties of logarithms. <clears throat> All right, so log base a of one, any base a here, with the conditions, remember the conditions. A greater than zero, A cannot be one. If the argument is one, then the whole value is zero. You can get that from the LE rule here. The second general property, log base A of A. So this is like log base seven of seven, log base five of five, log base four of four. It's always one. Now, property number three, log base a of a to the power x is equal to x. Remember in the LE rule, I can take x equals a to the power y, and then, see, so replace it here to get property number three. So we say log base a of a to the power x, same base a here, then it would be x. Also, Property number four, a to the power log base a of x is equal to x. So I can take the LE rule here, take y equals log base a of x and replace it in this y. So x will be a to the power log base a of x. So please try to remember these four properties. Just simple uh, thing here I can mention that this is a base a, so you can, you can use any number in the base like half, you can use base five, base E, base 10, any number A greater than zero, A cannot be one. Now let's look at example seven. This is example seven, continuation of lecture number four. So let's look at here, six to the power log base six of 20 plus log base 10 of one over 100 divided by this. You can take a minute to try. You have to use the properties for sure. So the first one, just property number four, six to the power log base 
6 of 20, this is only 20. This one you have to work a little here. 1 over 100, you can make it 10 to the power minus 2. So this is property number 3. Log base 10, see this is a base 10, this is a 10 to the power. See, I'll show you property number 3 there. Property number 3 here, log, put here 10, and here is 10. So you have to study the properties. Same thing here, we have the square root of 3, which is 3 power half. And there is a power 5, so it will be log base 3 of 3 to the power 5 over 2, which is property 3, also 5 over 2. Just put the numbers there, 20, and there is a minus 2 in the value there. So that's 18 divided by 5 over 2. Just multiply by the reciprocal here, 2 over 5, the final answer 36 over 5. Now this is a nice uh, slide here. We can see this is base A, the properties, the four properties we have seen, general properties. The same properties if we use base 10. Remember, if we use base 10, that means we don't write the base here only for base 10 and we call it common logarithms. So log of one, log of 10 is equal to one. This is the same property number one, same property number two. Log of 10 to the power x is equal to x because we don't write the base here. If we have 10 to the power log of x is equal to x. <coughs> so the important thing to understand the basic four properties of base A then you can apply it to any base. Find the exact value of this whole expression. Take it easy one by one, and then you can find the answer. Log of 100 is 10 squared. Log of 10 is 1. Remember that? Log of 10 is 1 here. Just remember that. Uh, 1,000. <coughs> 10 cubed. Bring the power here, 3 down. And then uh, minus 2 log of 10 is 1, so the final answer is 15. That's not a difficult question. Now, the same properties, as I mentioned before, this is a base A. See, that's the general properties. And this is natural logarithm base E. If we have a base E, we don't write E. <coughs> so log base E, we write ln of x. So ln of 1 is 0, because here base E and this is one. Now log base E of E, we write it ln of E is equal to one. Ln of E to the power X is equal to X, similar to property number three. E to the power ln of X is equal to X. So first I will mention again, understand the uh, basic four properties of base A, then you can apply it to natural logarithm, common logarithm, or any other base. Example nine, we have a bunch of numbers here. Try, maybe you can, you can simplify the numerator and then simplify the denominator. You can get the answer here. We have to use the properties. Yeah, let's call the first part in the numerator capital N and here we call it capital D. Try to simplify the numerator first. So we have Remember, the, this is the rule here. Ln of e to the power x is equal to x. So square root of e, I can say e power half. So all this is half, you see? See, six times the half. One over e, e to the power minus one. So ln of e to the power minus one is equal minus one. And there is a minus five in the question. So this is three plus five, that's eight. So the numerator is eight. Now try to simplify the denominator, please, capital D, and then divide. So we have here e to the power ln of 7 over 3. So we have two properties here to use because we have e to the power this, e to the power ln of x is equal x, ln of e to the power x is equal to x. So that one is minus 1 over 3, and this is 7 over 3. So capital D is two, seven minus one, six over three is two. So when you divide eight over two, the final answer is four. Well, this is not easy question. 
e to the power 2 ln of 5 minus ln of 3. Just use the four properties we have in this lecture. So with the hint here, you can use rules of exponents. You can see that in lecture number five in the algebra course. Let's see that. So we can use the rule. You remember when we multiply the exponents here with the same base, we add the power. If you go a to the power m times a to the power n, it will be a to the power m plus n. Let's go backwards. So if we have the plus in the power, we can split it into something multiplied by something. So I can take minus ln 3. I make it plus here. All right. Then I say e to the power 2 ln of 5 times e to the power, same base, minus ln of 3. Then I can use this rule also in the rules of exponents backwards. a to the power mn, a to the power m, all to the power n. So here we have e to the power 2 ln of 5. I can take the 2 outside in the power and leave the power ln of 5. So I can use this property here e to the power ln of x is equal to x, which is e to the power ln of 5 is 5. And e to the power ln of 3 is 3. Here we have power 2, so that's 5 squared. Here we have power minus 1, which is 1 over 3. So the final answer is 25 over 3. Now these are useful rules for logarithmic functions. I will explain here the simple example. If you have a function like this, f of x is equal 5 plus log base 9 of 4 minus x, that's a function. And we need to find the domain quickly without graphing and also the vertical asymptotes. What can we do? Directly we go to the argument here, whatever the argument there, 4 minus x, make it greater than 0. Solve the inequality, so x will be less than 4. So the domain will be from minus infinity to 4. That's the rule here. If you have log base a of an argument, it can be x minus 1. It can be x squared plus 7x minus 6. It can be any expression there. To find the domain, take the argument greater than 0. To find the vertical asymptote, solve, take the argument equal to 0, like I did here. If I need the vertical asymptote of this function, I take the argument 4 minus x equals 0. So x will be 4. Let's apply this on nice example. We have the logarithmic function ln of 25 minus x squared. Let's find the domain, find the vertical asymptote or two vertical asymptotes without graphing. Now, the important thing, what is the argument here? The argument is 25 minus x squared. That's the whole expression. So I take the argument positive. So 25 minus x squared greater than 0. Then I have to factor because we call this quadratic inequality. 5 minus x, 5 plus x. And then we have to do something called table of signs. You can see that in the algebra course, if you like to review it, lecture number 25 the table of signs where we solve inequalities. So I put five minus x, five plus x. I put the zeros there, five and minus five. And then I take a test point. Then I have to choose the plus. So the domain becomes from minus five to five of this function. To find the vertical asymptotes, put the argument equals zero. There are two vertical asymptotes, x equals five, x equals minus five. Now let's find the inverse of this function. We have m of x, capital M of x is the function, 4 minus log base 7 of 5 minus x. That's a logarithmic function. And we have to find the inverse. The inverse we have seen in lecture number one, pre-calculus course here, see? So to find the inverse, we have to use the four steps in the inverse. You can see the inverse lecture number one, pre-calculus course. 
So I take the function here, m of x, I put it y, 4 minus log base 7, 5 minus, then I interchange x and y. So I take 4 on the other side. See, this is x now. Take it on this side, take the log on the other side, becomes 5 minus y. So there are three steps there. Now we use LE rule. This is the LE rule. I wrote it here for you. Uh, change it to exponential. So it becomes 5 minus y is equal 7 the base to the power 4 minus 6. I need the new y. So take y on the other side, becomes 5 minus 7 to the power 4 minus 6. The, the new y here is the inverse of the function. So this is capital M inverse 5 minus 7 to the power 4 minus x. Now here we start some old exams questions for lectures 4 and 5 in the pre-calculus course. So question number one, we have capital M is equal log base 4 of 2, capital M is equal log base 25 of 4 through to 5. Find the value of this expression here. You can try it. It's a nice one. Here we have given the graph, question number two. The graph is given of log minus log base A of x plus B. All right, so find the function here from the graph, use the points, and then find A plus B. And this is a multiple choice, seven, five, one, four, eight. One of them is the answer. Question number three, just find the domain. This is an important question. Find the domain of this function. 7 minus log of x divided by x squared minus 9. Question number 4. Find the inverse of the function capital T of x. This is exponential function. 2 to the power minus x plus 1 minus 3. Find the inverse. Question number 5. We have given log base 49 of uh, cube root of 7 is equal to a and log base b 8 over 27 is equal to 3. Find the value of A plus B. Question number 6 may be a little tricky. Find the value of this expression. Log base 4th root of 3 of all this log base 2 of log base square root of 3 of 81. Try, try to use the properties and see if you can get the answer. Question number seven, uh, graph the function here, logarithmic function, f of x is equal to two minus log one minus x. Now question number eight, it comes with a gift. Please graph the function f of x is equal absolute value of ln of x, give the domain and range and tell me where the graph is increasing. Now the gift comes after the solution. So as usual here, you can see the answers of all these eight questions. For complete solutions, please, you can see the video on logarithmic functions and properties of logarithms, pre-calculus, old exams, questions. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. Just to remind you that this is pre-calculus course, lecture number Five. I wish I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.